Now, considering this shooting took place high above an outdoor music venue, what's being done now for future outdoor music festivals? Concern is the potential of a copycat scenario. Everybody should be alert and vigilant. I apologize. A few major festivals are still going forward, including Austin City Limits. Jay-Z, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more are set to perform outside this weekend before expected crowds of 75,000. Austin police are reviewing security plans. Festival organizers were already preparing for tighter security, including restricting certain bags and instituting full-body pat-downs. The same weekend as that festival, the Foo Fighters and Queens of the Stone Age will take the stage at this 65,000 capacity outdoor amphitheater in California for Cal Jam 17. If you hear a shooting, you want to run ins inside the nearest uh, a safe building where you could run, hide, and take cover until a uniformed police officer gives you the okay to come out and tells you that it's all safe. Today, Ed Sheeran's performance went on as scheduled outside MTV's Times Square studios for TRL's return. The tragedy addressed during the show's premiere. It's all about like love and love and unity, and there's not much, there's not much else we can do really. I, I, I need to go. Ed, at a loss for words, TRL's DJ Khaled saying the tragedy hit him hard. When I woke up this morning, I was like, man, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm a father now. So, you know, I'm praying, I'm sending my love to all the families out there and you know I'm saying, you know, hopefully they can rise up and overcome this. New co-host Tamara Dia telling us that they hope TRL will be a place of comfort for fans. That's what TRL is. It's not just a place where we talk about music, but it's also a place where we're talking about real life events. The NYPD tells ET today security in Times Square has been beefed up. Inside TRL, other security measures are also in place. The new space, which spans an entire city block, will be equipped with metal detectors. And the movie industry has also been affected by this tragedy. Tonight's Los Angeles premiere of Marshall with Kate Hudson and Sterling K. Brown has been canceled. There will be a private screening instead.